Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to brighten and whiten teeth in Lightroom. And I'm going to be using this photo today and just showing you how when you're editing your photos, sometimes when you're warming them up, you know, with the temperatures or even with a color in Lightroom, the teeth kind of take on a yellowish cast. So I'm going to show you how to eliminate that and avoid that and cancel that out. So the first thing that I suggest doing is just doing... Um, your full edit and then doing the teeth whitening at the very last step that way you don't have to go back and redo any kind of brush settings at the end so I'm going to grab my life and color collection and I'm going to choose dazzling when I do that I need to make some other adjustments because you can see that the highlights are kind of blown out so I'm going to just kind of go down the exposure a little bit um, maybe even adjust my tone curve a tiny bit let me add some vibrance and maybe not so much matte. And all right, so that's looking pretty good. I do like to add a little subtle vignette just to add some contrast and some depth to the photo. And since we are going to be doing all of the uh, editing. I'm going to just apply a little bit of sharpening just to sharpen all the other things. Okay, so this is a good start. This is pretty much how I would edit this photo. Maybe take down the highlights a little bit just because there's some highlights there. Maybe not so many blacks. All right, so now we're going to get to the teeth. So you can see how the teeth are just a little bit yellow and if you were to adjust the white balance that's even going to get worse. So I'm not going to adjust it too much because that was a little bit too much. But um, when you're ready to edit the teeth, and you can do the same exact thing with the whites of your eyes too. But we are going to start with the teeth. So grab a brush. I'm in Lightroom Classic. Um, if you're in Lightroom CC, all of these toolbars and everything is going to look a little different. But the same rules apply. So I'm going to grab my brush and then I'm going to make sure all of my sliders are set or zeroed out. I am actually going to increase the exposure just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to come down and come to my saturation. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just brightening up the teeth with the exposure and then I'm desaturating the yellow. So I'm going, I'm adjusting my brush with my mouse. Uh, you can do that by manually on your, on your mouse, or you can do it manually if you go up to the size. Here we go, down to the size um, over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go lightly over the teeth. And this is just taking away that yellow color and brightening them up, okay? And that might be a little much, um, just to give you, just to show you, if you adjust the exposure and you desaturate it even more, <laughs> we're going to have some really pearly whites there. But I don't like going over the top with this, just a little bit of the exposure, um, no more than, than that. And then the saturation, you still want that kind of ivory color to the teeth because anything else is going to look unnatural, especially, you know, this is a tween child, so I don't want them looking like a, a professional tooth model, okay? So I'm going to just show you um, where this is applied, and if there's areas where you didn't mean to apply it, you can come down to the erase option. Make sure your flow is set to 100, that way you erase all of the um, brush area, and just kind of go over all the places you didn't want to go over. And that's going to be like on the gums and on the lips. All right. And then when I don't want to see that anymore, I can just press done. Now, if you aren't done, if you want to do the eyes as well, I recommend coming up here and grabbing a new brush. This will create a new brush stroke. That way, if you need to come back and adjust these later on, you don't have to adjust both. You can just pick the one that you want. All right, so I'm going to have the same exposure settings, and I'm just going to go over the whites of the eyes. And you can kind of see that's a little 
doing it over a little bit too much. So I might even come back over here and this is why choosing a different brush is really helpful because then you can adjust this one and then this one isn't being adjusted as well. So I think that looks pretty good. Not too much of a change, but just enough. And let me just show you the before and after. Let's see. So just a little bit of the tooth whitening. Um, he didn't really have yellow teeth to begin with, but when we applied that preset, that uh, the warmness of the preset, it just made his teeth look a little bit yellow. So this kind of makes it a little bit more natural. And you can even save this as a brush. So if you have uh, this brush that, brush that you really liked, you can scroll on down, actually, just click on custom and save a current setting as new preset and you can just save it however you want. So tooth brush and there you have it. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Lightroom tips and tutorials and check out all of the links below. If you like this uh, Life in Color preset collection, make sure you check out the link too. And thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.